Hello, today I want to do introduction to modeling the parallel processes uh, and that's a very common topic. So for this we will do overview of the sample as a first part of this uh, presentation and next time we'll uh, recreate the uh, one case from scratch as a tutorial. So today will be overview. So we'll have ontological behavior modeling sample as you can see here I'm going to this sample and this sample has multiple uh, simulations as you can see here one of them and uh, let's go up and this is one of the most simple ones so we have a painter and dryer and they do the job so let's see how that works so we are going to run this change color so here we have it as you can see painter does the job and then a dryer does the job and then both uh, job is here 21 minute if we have randomization here so we see they are done right uh, let me run again See, painted does the job, dry does the job, okay, finished. Okay, now next thing is that actually we want to run uh, the, um, uh, with the location, so we want to see who does what, right? Okay. Okay, so we saw who does what, and this is the, for the uh, purpose uh, for that, we used Swimlane. So if we use Swimlane and execute, we get that automatically. Okay, next one is actually a very simple one. You can run activity inside of the use case, as you can see here, by executing use case. So if you execute the use case, go here to the use case, you get same results, just you can control the use case when you see the user interface is automatically created uh, using the actor image, and you get automatically use case executed when you click this button as a, with the name of the use case. An activity gets executed. So we can check the functions, uh, functionality of the use case. Now it gets uh, up to the parallel processes. So here we have the many workers. So we'll have many workers in the factory doing the job and that job will be uh, to paint and dry. So here in this first part, we create the workers, create the jobs, right? And then number of painters and dryers will do the job. So the jobs are created here, as you can see here, and then they will are sent, uh, requested here. And then the number of painters and dryers are uh, set here, you see, dryers number, painters number. So here we have this instance, which sets the number as a multiplicity for dryers and uh, painters. Okay, so let's run this uh, model and uh, um, many workers and see what's happening. So as you can see here, many workers are doing the job. You can actually monitor it here. Yeah, it's done. I will run again. So you can see jobs are created. Yeah, jobs are created. And then all of them are done for the paint. Once paint jobs are done, we start doing the dry jobs. As you can see, first paint job went to the dry job. Second paint job went to the dry job third paint job went to the dry job and then once this one is done because the dryers are only three painters were four it took the last job and it took in total to complete those jobs as we can see here more than 22 seconds minutes in this case now next one is uh, configurable here and uh, it's called ontological but it's actually just configurable uh, if we go here run this one and we could configure you know how many uh, painters and dryers we want uh, and actually this one just like one case and then here we have configurable one we can go here and set like number of painters like for example five number of dryers three number of jobs eight and then we get result uh, and this result will be validated uh, verified by this requirement uh, uh, to satisfy this requirement, as you can see here, we have this jobs uh, done shall be less than 45 minutes. And uh, then uh, we'll see, you know, what's happening with this model ontological configurable. Yes. Yeah, so uh, 
result uh, should satisfy the requirement uh, if we will oh no actually it doesn't satisfy yeah it was 45 seconds in that case seconds we could actually change to the minutes but in general it was seconds here in this model and that uh, was uh, not uh, satisfying this requirement now um, the last one will be the new capability of CSML is the um, uh, new capability of executable CSML is the streaming. As you can see here on the pin, we have streaming stereotype. And when you run this uh, streaming um, uh, activity, activity generating the tokens, uh, object, object uh, tokens, you will see them accumulating and uh, passing here and then uh, handling them here and then passing here and uh, that uh, takes in, uh, in the account of uh, multiplicity and uh, other things so this is the streaming uh, property of the parameter of the activity which now you can simulate and this is common case that you have streaming uh, instead of the non-streaming the streaming means that uh, tokens are produced by activities active so it's not at the end but while it's active and it's common to use streaming with the flows like uh, energy water and uh, other things flowing so let's go to the streaming let's run the streaming uh, let's go to the full screen as you can see here streaming is producing uh, tokens and once the token number is accumulated, the required number is accumulated, you see the number of the tokens here, everything is here, right? So we can zoom in. Uh, let's run this again. As you can see here, chart, right, with the all the jobs done and the parallel and uh, the waiting times could be calculated and so on. So that was short overview. And the next uh, part uh, we will do tutorial. It will be longer. We'll create one of the samples. Uh, likely it will be um, one of those samples where we can uh, run uh, multiple uh, parallel jobs with the waiting. Uh, with the configurable number of the resources and uh, this will enable us to model the queues uh, and uh, do the analysis like how many of what type of resources do we need uh, we can then later think to optimize based on different characteristics uh, we can calculate uh, waiting time average waiting time the monte carlo analysis and so on but uh, the most important thing that we will be able to model parallel processes and analyze them